Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of the achievement of Chinese chip. Most people's understanding of the chip industry is focused on design and manufacturing. They have a wide understanding of the front-end industry of these chips, but in the field of back-end packaging, it is becoming more and more important. Some chip stacking, chiplet technology, all belong to the packaging industry. The good news is that Chinese chipmaker, JCET, has completed a breakthrough in packaging technology. What's going on? Will packaging be the future of Moore's Law? Chinese companies have achieved breakthroughs in packaging technology. The birth of a chip will go through three major industrial processes of design, manufacturing, and packaging, and each industry is responsible for different working modules. The design level mainly completes the typesetting and layout control of the chip pattern, and the function of the chip is determined by the chip design. I see chip design manufacturers hand over the designed chips to the manufacturer and use a series of equipment such as photolithography machines, etching machines, and ion implanters in the manufacturing process to manufacture the chips. But it's not over yet. In the future, the chip needs to be packaged in a protective case and countless pins are connected in series with packaging techniques, such as lead frames, so that the terminal equipment equipped with the chip can exert the performance of the chip. In this way, the chip completes all the production processes and becomes a commodity for people to choose for the consumer market. Every link is very important. Except for the high difficulty, and cost of manufacturing in the manufacturing link. The rest of the industry is relatively easy to enter the game, which is why the industry has widely paid attention to the manufacturing industry. However, as Moore's law is facing its limit, chip performance has encountered performance bottlenecks, and it is not easy to simply improve the manufacturing process. So the chip industry began to focus on the development of packaging technology. The widely discussed small chips, chip stacking, etc. all belong to the category of advanced packaging technology. In December last year, China also released the technical standard for small chips, small chip interface, bus technical requirements, which means that the packaging technology based on small chips will have great future prospects. International giants, such as AMD and Intel have launched chips designed for small chips, and the relevant technical standards and industrial processes will become more and more perfect. The domestic packaging technology has good news. The Chinese company JCET has made great achievements, and the packaging technology has broken through the 4 nanometers chip process. According to the official announcement of the Chinese company JCET, the company has mass-produced small chip XDFOI packaging technology and realized the shipment of 4 nanometers process multinode system integrated packaging products for international customers. The number of companies exploring the small chip track has begun to increase, and JCET is a domestic chip packaging company. As the packaging industry transitions towards the development of advanced packaging such as small chips, many practitioners are working hard to develop technologies. At present, JCET can realize 4 nanometers advanced packaging technology. The XDFOI technology launched in 2021 is a high-density multidimensional heterogeneous integration technology platform, and it is also an exploration and research for small chips. 
Will packaging be the future of Moore's Law? Why has the industry started to pay more attention to the packaging industry? The reason is simple. In the traditional chip technology of human beings, performance breakthroughs have always been achieved by manufacturing technology. Whether the chip is 7 nanometers or 5 nanometers depends entirely on the manufacturer's process level and what kind of semiconductor equipment the equipment supplier can provide behind it. These are the decisive factors affecting the chip manufacturing process and the key to the performance of the chip. But if manufacturers are making slow progress and cannot double the performance of chips, how can they explore the future of the chip industry? The industry has begun to pay attention to this issue. TSMC has currently achieved mass production of 3 nanometers chips, but compared to 5 nanometers, it has only improved performance by about 15%, while the price has reached $20,000 per wafer. This shows that Moore's law is gradually failing. According to Moore's law, the number of transistors that a chip can accommodate will double every 18 months, and the price will still be half of the original. It is equivalent to saying that the improvement of chip performance will be accompanied by the reduction of price. However, we have seen that the price of TSMC's 3 nanometers has not decreased, but has become more and more expensive. The improvement in chip performance cannot be directly proportional to the reduction in price. Therefore, it is necessary to develop technologies that can both improve chip performance and control chip costs. Perhaps advanced packaging is one of the solutions. Take the small chip as an example, two different processes, different functions, and different manufacturers bear chips can be heterogeneous integrated in the form of advanced packaging to create a two-in-one system level SOC chip. Different dyes can be freely combined. The advantage is that the chip can achieve greater performance and the manufacturing cost will not be too expensive. That being the case, will packaging technology be the future of Moore's law? The answer is very likely. Advanced packaging may be one of the mainstream technologies in the Moore era, providing long-term ideas for the development of the chip industry. At least for now, the major packaging giants have the ability to achieve 4 nanometers technological breakthroughs. On this basis, if they can explore rich 2D, 2.5D, and 3D small chip integration technologies, it may be possible to create large-scale packaging clusters. Of course, the specifics need to be combined with the actual situation. How to build the industrial ecology, how to implement technical standards, etc. need to be gradually improved and every step should be taken steadily. Chip design and chip manufacturing belong to the front-end industry, while chip packaging is the back-end field. Whether the chip can be implemented depends on the support of these three industrial processes. The chip story of the front-end industry may not be finished yet. Moore's law should continue to develop for 10 years, but after that, the packaging industry will play an increasingly important role. It depends on who can stand out, shine, and continue the future of chip technology. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message below to share.